Well, it's time for a little oil change on this 2009 Sienna. And uh, they require a special little tool. And I uh, got this over at the Toyota place. Now we're going to need a little oil filter. And this is a paper filter. It's a little bit different than the old coffee can type filters. It doesn't have a can around it. The can kind of stays with the car. So it's just a filter. And then it's got a couple of little O-rings. And then this is a little bitty tool that just kind of plugs up in it. I'll show you how that works. Uh, just kind of drain some of the oil out of the current filter. But And I've got a little pan underneath here. And then let me show you, if you look on the passenger side, kind of right here by the front wheel, over a little bit uh, on the oil pan itself, right here is a 14 millimeter bolt that's uh, the drain plug for your oil. And then just, I don't know, six or eight inches away is the actual oil filter right here. All right, let's see if we can go ahead and get this. 14 millimeter, yeah, it'll come right out of there. There we go. Oh yeah. All right, it looks like most of all that oil is pretty well drained out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this plug back in there. Just snug it down good where I feel like it won't come loose. Now the filter, looks like it can come loose with the, or the bottom of the filter to drain it. Will come loose with a 3 8 drive. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh, that whole thing is turning there, so, which is fine by me. Got a little O-ring, it's kinda stiff on the threads there. There we go. Oh yeah. And there's the filter. Now there's a little notch right here for taking this O-ring off. Just slip a screwdriver under it and then pull it off. Now I'm going to take a little bit of oil out of this old filter housing and then just coat this new O-ring before I put it on. That kind of just makes sure it gets a little bit better of a wet seal. Be sure and note where your first O-ring comes off. So that you can get it right back in the same spot. Right here where there's just a little keyway. Right there where you put your screwdriver in. And it goes just below that. So Now on the bottom of this filter. There's a little 3 8 plug. And uh, normally that would be the first thing to come out. But it broke the whole filter loose in my case. So I didn't get to take this off at first. and So I went ahead and took it off. And, and normally there's a little plug that you would insert and screw in here and this little piston will push a spring loaded device in there and it'll drain the oil out of the bottom of this filter. What I'm going to do now is just go ahead and replace this o-ring and there's a little place for your screwdriver to just slip up in there. We'll get this cleaned up on the bottom and then get that o-ring back in there and then once again just so we have kind of a nice wet seal, I'm going to just take a little bit of oil and rub around on that O-ring so it makes more of a nice wet seal. And we'll go ahead and just replace that lower O-ring. And now we can go ahead and get the, the little bottom shoe to go back on. That's really just a plug to drain the filter. I'm going to take my 3 8 driver and insert it in there and then just give it a good tightening. Use my rag to hold it a little bit tighter. There we go. Alright, that's on pretty good. Now, all we got to do is take the paper filter and set it down in there and then this is ready for reassembly. Let's go ahead and get this new filter put in. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my 3 8 driver, 4 inch extension, 4 inch extension, to go ahead and snug this filter housing down. Looks like it's pretty good there. 
Now the oil cap is calling for 5W30, but since I bought this vehicle second hand, I don't know if somebody's changed this cap out or not. So I went ahead and checked the manual to make sure. And uh, the manual did in fact call for that same 5W30. Now one last thing you want to do is just kind of look under here after you get all the oil put in and make sure that you're not having any drips on anything. So everything looks like it's tight and sealed up good. Now the last thing you should do after you've changed your oil is to pull the dipstick out and then check your oil level and make sure you like where it's at.